Welcome to another video on SRID Cloud. In this video, I want to talk about uh, networking aspect of uh, OpenShift, how the uh, pods and worker nodes, they talk to each other and how a um, yeah, particular web application running on a, uh, on a specific worker node, for example, can be accessed from outside. I think that is the point of interest in this video. So in this diagram, I'm showing you a very uh, simple um, OpenShift installation. I have three master nodes and uh, three worker nodes. And um, on top of this, I'm going to deploy a very simple web application, the NGINX web application. Uh, and I'm going to run only one instance of it, only one pod, uh, no, no scaling or uh, whatever. And that pod is going to run on a specific worker node. And that um, web application exposes um, a port called port 80, the popular HTTP port, uh, to serve web pages. So it is running inside a worker node, inside a pod particularly, and then inside a worker node. But how do I access it from outside? So that's exactly what uh, we're going to do now. So now let's switch over to the terminal uh, window and then um, do some examination of yaml files and so on and proceed so here is my um, openshift installation oc get nodes minus o wide as i just mentioned there are three master nodes and three uh, worker nodes and um, i'm going to deploy um, yeah, web application. Let's examine the YAML file for it. This is a very simple one. It, this is not a deployment or stateful set or anything like that. A straightforward pod. And uh, there are some labels associated with this pod. It, an application name and uh, kind of a type, front end. And then in the container section, I have um, nginx as the image. And nginx is a popular um, web application in the container world. <coughs> and here I'm not specifying anywhere the port number 80 is being used by nginx. It is understood. So now I'm going to deploy this with this command. And this command will um, take this YAML file and then create a pod and deploy it on any of the worker nodes in this uh, OpenShift environment. So there it is, it is uh, running. Uh, now let us take a look at the uh, logs, OC logs, network example part. And it says um, it is launching um, a very simple web application inside the part. But now let me also do a OC describe network example par there we go um, and you can see the internal IP address 10.131.0.11 is assigned to this particular part we don't have to worry about this IP address at all actually and uh, there is a default route the 10.131.0.1 is also built in. <coughs> and um, that's pretty much everything. So now this um, pod is running a, an application and it is exposing port number 80. So how do I actually access it from outside? So for that I need to create what is called a service. So let me look at the service YAML file. And here, there is a name for the service. Don't worry about that. And the type is a node port. So the node port means it will automatically create uh, something like a load balancer. And that will ensure the incoming requests are routed to this particular uh, pod. And that pod definition is under the selector section. And the app name, my network example, is a bridge between the service and uh, the pod that I implemented a moment ago but most importantly look at the port section the target port is the port number exposed by the um, pod and the uh, node port 
is is defined as 30,700. This is the port that is going to be exposed on the node, on the worker node. So if you have the IP address of the worker node and this port number, then you can access the web application um, served by this my network example pod. So this is how you create a service and um, you basically do the same thing. And this will install the service as well. So here is the service it is running and it is exposing the port number 30700. So now let us uh, do something uh, like this. Oh, see, get nodes, sorry, pods minus O wide. This is to see on which worker node this pod is running. It's running on OKD4 worker, worker 1. So they're running on worker 1. So let us see um, if we can access the web application with the curl command. Uh, the 10. Oh, we need to do the OC get nodes minus or Y. So the worker node 1 is uh, 192.168.40.105. So what I'm going to do is curl HTTP 192.168.40.105 colon the port number is 30700. So here it is. This is the HTML page served by the NGINX application running under the pod on worker node number one. But let me do something interesting here. Let me try the same curl command with the IP address of uh, the second worker node, that is 106. Remember, the um, pod is running only under worker node 1. The worker node 2, which I am referring to right now, 192.168.40.106, is not running that specific um, pod. So you expect uh, an error or no result. Uh, when I run this call command, right? Let's see. That is not the case. Even if I run the call command against the second worker node, I'm still getting the HTML page back. So how about a third worker node? That is one uh, one zero. <coughs> I'm still getting it. Mm -hmm. So what does it mean? When I uh, install the service for a particular web application or a pod, then the service will expose the port number through proxy. So in this case, the port number 80 exposed by the web application is being exposed to the outside world through port number 30700. 30, Not only through the worker node 1 on which the pod is running, but also on any other worker nodes. And uh, surprisingly, um, you can even access the web application through the IP addresses of master nodes also. So the service plays a very um, true load balancer. It can uh, serve the uh, web application from any uh, through any other nodes in the cluster. So hope you enjoyed this video and understood how at least uh, to expose a particular uh, web application to the outside world through um, OpenShift. And uh, thanks for joining and that was nice talking to you all. And I will um, create another video on another topic on OpenShift very soon. Have a wonderful day and uh, bye for now.